There's no doubt there is an edge of class to a person who knows their way around a cocktail menu. Being able to discern rather than decipher a good cocktail from a mix is a good skill to have. Now, in the days of social distancing, you might find yourself shaking and muddling your own cocktails more than before, so we thought it was high time we got the down low on the 15 cocktails every modern gentleman should consider. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. We're here to offer you tips of glassware, cocktail shaking, some of the history and all the social etiquette around cocktail culture. So in no specific order, here are 15 cocktail legends to remember. Number 1. Gin and Tonic the humble gin and tonic has been around since the 1800s and can be as ballin' or budget as you need. Nothing is quite as cooling on a summer's day as a G&T with a slice of cucumber. In the last 10 years, gin and tonic has seen a revival of sorts, and the variety of combinations you can acquire are astounding. First things first, the glassware. Each cocktail is specific to a particular glass, and any good establishment or home shaker should know this. The highball is the glass to house a G&T and the classic upright no-nonsense glass for a no-nonsense drink. Gin is the result of careful distilling of juniper berries. There is a huge difference in the kind of distilling process from boutique distillers making tiny batches to craft distilled with daring flavors and then the commercial well-known brands. Tonic is also a big deal, with a zillion flavors, sweeteners, and methods of creating the bitter bubbles that bring us such refreshing goodness. Garnish with fruit, herbs, or nothing but ice and you're in for a chill time. The only mistake you can make when pouring a gin and tonic is thinking they all taste the same. So don't cage yourself into one single type. Mix it up. Number 2. The Sidecar this classic brandy cocktail was popular in World War I. In some ways, it could be described as a brandy margarita because of its sweet and sour balance. Sour drinks were popular back around the First World War, and the sidecar definitely fit the bill. The Ritz Hotel in Paris claims to have invented this cocktail, but that's not so easy to prove or deny. It's made with a good order of cognac, a serving of orange liqueur or triple sec, and a decent helping of lemon juice. Serve it chilled with a standard cocktail glass and garnish with a triangle of orange. Number 3. Whiskey Sour Sticking with the sours, it's whiskey's time to shine. Instead of orange liqueur, it's sweetened with simple syrup. Simple syrup is a bar basic. It's made of equal parts sugar to water dissolved perfectly to leave no crystals behind. Next, it's time for the sour element by adding lemon. And if you'd like to give it a real flair, add some egg white and shake it in a cocktail shaker to give it a foamy head and a luscious, smooth sipping texture. Yep, we're dishing out all the barman's dirty secrets right here. Stick around until the end, though, where we reveal some of the most important tips to perfect mixology. Number 4. New Orleans Fizz New Orleans is the home front for cocktails. During the 1915 Mardi Gras celebration, 35 shaker boys work one at a time just to keep up with orders at the Creator's Bar. During this golden age of cocktails, the New Orleans Fizz was born. Also known as the Ramos Gin Fizz, it's a light and zesty favorite for a cheeky brunch or a lunch bevy. But it's time to grab your cocktail shaker for this one because here come the ingredients. Gin, simple syrup, lemon juice and lime juice, cream and an egg white, orange water and some soda water to finish it off. Add all of the ingredients except the soda water and shake it to mix. Then add ice, shake it until it hurts, roughly a minute. Pro tip, if a straw can stand up straight, you've shaken it enough. Strain it as you pour it into a highball glass and top it up with soda water and serve. Number 5. Mint Julep the mint julep is the signature drink of the Kentucky Derby and the king of bourbon-based cocktails. They are so popular that on the first Saturday in May at the Churchill Downs Racetrack in Louisville, around 80,000 are served up. This is the first cocktail on the list that requires a good muddling. That's not a doddering old grandfather, but rather a cocktail mixing term that means you use a pestle-like tool that looks like a stick to incorporate fresh fruit or herbs into a drink. Add 5 mint leaves, 2 sugar cubes or a simple syrup if you prefer, and a heavy-handed pour of bourbon whiskey. Muddle it to release the mint aroma, then top with crushed ice and serve with a straw. It's traditionally served in a pewter or silver cup with a handle to keep it cold, but if you don't have one, a highball is perfectly acceptable as well. Number 6. Old Fashioned In the late 1800s, the Old Fashioned emerged. Since then, it's been butchered with the addition of canned fruit and managed to beat its way back to cocktail royalty once more. 
good whiskey, bourbon or rye for the base of this one, with a spice of bitters to really man it up. A good old fashioned has some fruit muddled in and a twist of citrus to add some strong citrus oils to the mix. Serve it in a perfectly chilled tumbler. Just steer away from canned fruit as it's really tacky and makes it far too sweet, because a typical old fashioned should put some hair on your chest. And if you're a modern old fashioned gentleman, take a look at our video to brush up on the rules for being a gentleman. Number 7. Negroni Campari is not everyone's kettle of fish, so not many people like a Negroni the first time they try one. It's a cocktail that creeps into your heart, so give this bittersweet Italian spirit a few chances before kicking it to the curb. A Negroni is equal parts Campari, an orangey herbal aperitif, dry gin, and a sweet vermouth. It's been on the menu of fine dining since the 1920s. They're part of a family of cocktails that were designed as aperitifs that were enjoyed before a meal was brought out. Number 8. Gimlet you might have seen the gimlet on an episode of Mad Men. It was a favorite of the execs of that era. It was born in a far darker time when scurvy was affecting sailors. The gimlet proved to be a perfect combination between tipple and curing tonic with its high dose of vitamin C. Choose your poison, vodka or gin. The zinger is the tart taste that comes from a good quality lime cordial. Shake with ice and strain into a cocktail glass, then top with ice and a wheel of lime on the side. Number 9. Martini the Martini is one of the most classic and iconic cocktails in its class. The original dry martini calls for gin, but more modern recipes welcome vodka into the mix. Of course, Bond first made it famous with his shaken not stirred line, but again, both are perfectly acceptable. Combine equal parts of vermouth to either gin or vodka, shake or stir, and serve in a cocktail glass. Add a lemon twist or an olive, also a matter of taste, but the olive brine is known to add an extra level of dry that keeps people coming back for more. Number 10. Classic Martinez the classic Martinez cocktail is thought to actually predate the martini, a grandfather of cocktails you could say. If a martini is too dry, then try the Martinez one for sure. It's a spin on the classic. Add a good gin with a sweet vermouth and a maraschino liqueur. The result is a deep, semi-sweet flavor and a hint of cherry. Number 11. Bloody Mary there are drinks to get loose and there are drinks that help us button up. The Bloody Mary is just that. Known for its hangover curing qualities, the Bloody Mary is a favorite morning after the night before option. Tomato juice gives a savory base to add your favorite spirit to. Vodka, gin, tequila, or whiskey, or opt to keep it clean and take it virgin. More recently, the Bloody Mary has been jazzed up beyond our wildest dreams. Bacon rolls, prawns, pork sausages, skewers or cocktail onions and olives, hash browns, french fries, and even a grilled cheese. There's no end to the toppings you can order on top of a Bloody Mary. It's more than a meal, it's a towering buffet, and it's sure to revive you. Number 12. Tom Collins The Tom Collins is another drink that was penned in the first bartending recipe books ever published, including the 1876 book by Jerry Thomas, who is affectionately known as the father of American mixology. In its simplicity, it's a gin-based sparkling lemonade comprising of gin, lemon juice, sugar, and soda water, served in a Collins glass over ice with a colorful garnish. Yum! Number 13. Brandy Alexander Cocktail the first of our milky-based cocktails is the Brandy Alexander. Ironically, it started out as a gin cocktail named the Alexander, but was eventually dominated by a brandy and got a name change. It's a delightful combination of cognac, creme de cacao, and cream shaken and strained into a cocktail glass and topped with grated nutmeg. Pure perfection. Number 14. White Russian Another drink that was downed by the dozens of execs in the 1960s was the White Russian. It's a beloved happy hour cocktail, although I doubt anyone could stomach that much dairy these days. Now it's more popular as a dessert drink. Pour vodka and coffee liqueur over ice in a tumbler. Top with cream or milk to keep a two-layer look for serving. Number 15. The Manhattan we didn't just add this to a list of cocktails every gentleman should know because it has the word man in it. And sure, it might have gotten a bad rap because of the flourish in its finish, but the Manhattan has a much darker and seedier background than its cherry garnish lets on. The Manhattan was the top of the A-list in the New York club scene back in the old days when it was ordered by mobsters and social elites. Shake together two parts of whiskey to one part sweet vermouth and a dash of bitters. Rub an orange peel around the cocktail glass, pour the drink through a strainer, and add a real maraschino cherry. It's positively wicked. 
And with that, Alexers, we're at the end. What's your favorite cocktail that you think every modern gentleman should be able to whip up? And what's the first cocktail on the list you'll try when the world comes out of lockdown? Let us know in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. There are some non-negotiables when it comes to great mixology. And because you stuck around, we're going to reward you with some bartending gold. Firstly, the ingredients matter. Think fresh fruit and garnish, and consider investing in some top-shelf bottles to add to your home collection. A cocktail is only as good as what you put into it. Next, ice is a must-have. Don't skimp on it. It controls the temperature and dilution of your drinks. And last, chill the glass. All great mixologists keep their glasses in the fridge prior to serving. Learn from the best and follow suit for top drawer results. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.